Okay, so we are trying. Oh, yuck. Uh, the thickness, I don't like it. Here we go. So we are to check whether this series converges or not. Here we go. Okay. Well, if we are trying to do it by uh, by the comparison test, we just need to find... So let's say this one is representing a n. So all we need to find is some b n that a n would be less than or equal to it. And then show that the series for b n is converging. And from that, we'll be able to show that this associated with that is definitely conversion. Okay. So based on that, oh, by the way, uh, this is Monsieur Lenage. Uh, here we go. Oh no. Let's see. Here it is. Ah, yes. Yeah, right there. So this is the guy who is trying to. Uh, show how this problem can be, you know, solved. Thank you. Let's get out of there. Okay, uh, next, let me see how I move to the next page. Um, let me see, add another page. Here we go. So, here's the deal. Well, n plus e n is going to be always greater than or equal to e n plane. I mean, think of it this way. e n and e n uh, e to the n, that is, they are equal to one another, okay? So the fact that you add an extra term n here, that ensures that the least you could have is the two sides to be equal to each other, otherwise the right, the left side here is going to be greater than or equal to that. Okay, cool. And then we know that uh, since n is a, is a positive integer, meaning belonging to the set of positive integers like that, this implies this implies that n is positive or equal to zero and e to the n because e is already 2.7 etc and you raise it to the power uh, n so already it's greater than zero meaning it's positive also okay cool so if that's true then we know from properties of uh, uh, inequalities that if you have, for example, um, a positive number uh, A greater than a positive number B or greater or equal to, then this implies that the reciprocal will have to be less than or equal to that, 1 over B. An example, for instance, let's say 3, with numbers that is, 3 greater than 2, but if I do 1 third, it'll have to be uh, less than one half. Cool? Let's go to the next item. So now that we established then that n plus e to the n is greater than or equal e to the n, that would have to imply that 1 over n plus e to the n is less than or equal to 1 over e to the n. But wait a second here. This is a typical term of a geometric sequence whose r is equal to none over e. Okay? Because if you raise both sides to the power n, you're going to get 1 over e to the n. See? Since this is now established as being an element of a geometric, of a geometric sequence, this implies then that we have a series, so this is like becomes our, this in a sense is our BN, and of course this is our AN, and since we establish a new page, oh, never mind, um, cancel, I don't need another page. So this, therefore, the sum of N from 0 to infinity of 1 over N E plus e to the n will have to be conversion. That's it. Thank you very much. And signing off.
Thank you.